Of course, uh, for many students, the first day of school also means it's time to put the phones away. Yes, the U.S. Department of Education data shows that 77% of schools prohibit the non-academic use of cell phones in the classroom. So Ben Jordan goes 360 on how two local districts are taking very different approaches to make sure that students are on their phones during school hours. What is your story? Studies show teens get a staggering seven hours of screen time on average each day. But most schools ban cell phones in the classroom so students can focus on learning. Let's go 360 to explain why two school districts have strict policies when it comes to prohibiting cell phones. You'll also hear from parents at odds over the policies, but we start with a student. You got to go from like having your phone every day to like barely having your phone at all. High school senior Amaya Patrick says she's never allowed to even look at her phone at school and she thinks that's a problem in the case of an emergency. We have things in emergencies to take care of outside of school so if our phones are locked up how are we going to get a hold of that emergency if we don't have contact with our people outside of school. The mass shootings have been happening a lot more often. I wouldn't say necessarily in our city but who knows. Um, but I think it's very important for them to be able to communicate with officers or even their parents, cousins, other kids in the school to let them know to get to safety or that they are safe. But Michael Arnold, a parent of a high school student, says cell phones have no place in schools. It's a big distraction. So I get it. You know, whatever, whatever it takes to, to get them to do what they're supposed to do in school, so be it. I'm with it 100%. The Germantown School District prohibited students from using cell phones during school hours back in 2008, and that ban eventually turned into a municipal fine for those who are caught. As um, a parent, I'm sure parents, they want to have that communication with the student. I get that. Um, we've sort of looked at it as the overall benefit to academics. Germantown High School principal Joel Farron says it's all about eliminating distractions, bullying, and academic dishonesty. That's why the district requires students to keep their phones in their locker. I talk to our new hires that come from other districts. One of the things they say is don't ever get rid of this policy. School data shows the policy doesn't always work. There were about 150 cell phone violations last year, the most in the past five years. Farron says a student's first citation can come with a ticket of $250, going up to nearly 500 for a third time caught. But just 13 students actually had to pay a fine last year due to a violation. We don't want it just to be about money, about punishment, but there has to be some level of consequence for it to be able to enforce the policy. Down in Racine, St. Catharines High School takes a different approach. <laughs> Principal Michael Arndt says the school purchased these pouches for every student last winter to make sure they can't access their phones in class. It was honestly like watching 460 kids go through withdrawals the first week. When kids enter the building, they have to put their phones inside the pouch and lock it by tapping it against a magnet found at every school entrance. Michael says an administrator is there to make sure it happens. They tap it, they come out, they take it. Michael says the decision was made after teachers struggled to keep students off their phones when they transitioned back to the building following a year of virtual learning due to the pandemic. We're not trying to be punitive. We're really about getting students engaged back in the classroom. Michael says there's no going back now after seeing the benefits. We've seen decreases in our failure rates. We've seen increases in academic performance uh, from a grade perspective. Our teachers love it because that's one less thing that they really have to police for the most part. The Milwaukee Public School District declined to do an interview on this topic, but the district's policy says students are prohibited from using cell phones during the school day. Those who are caught will have it confiscated until an administrator is able to speak with their parent or guardian. Reporting in Milwaukee, Ben Jordan, TMJ4 News.